Good day guys, it's Jared here and welcome to well, welcome back to 60 seconds. So we're gonna go back into the game. So we're gonna do the full atomic experience with scavenging around the house and then doing the post apocalyptic shelter. So let's begin that. So we got 60 seconds to scavenge around, collect family, friend, to grab family, water, food and stuff to keep us sane and safe. So figure out what all of that is, what's important and what's not important, that's the test we've got. So where is everyone? Okay, so they are all in here. Well, two people. Okay, so two people are in here. Where is my wife? Okay, so my wife is over there. Alright. So I'm going to grab my daughter and that water. Because she's... Let's go. Yeah, because you take up three spots. Okay, let's go. Why I can't just um, shoot, 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 run right past it. Wife, we need to go. Things need to get out of my way. I'm stuck. A uh, game. Are you serious, game? I'm stuck. This is unfair. Come on, really? Well, I'm redoing this because that was... I'm redoing that because that chair was stuck in the wall and that was so frustrating. So let me see if I can redo it. Yeah. The end because it's like one can of this and one can of that. Yes, I know. Yeah, 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 you perished. I know. Let me restart. <laughs> I'm perishing, I'm perishing. I love how there's just casually a pizza also on top of my house. I'm like, okay. Apocalypse. Let's stop. Bad smell, toxic fog. Just put a gas mask on and you'll smell nothing. Alright, come on. Come on now. So it's there. I'm gonna go over here. Don't you dig it in my way. Alright. Because I'm gonna grab my daughter. Because she's um, three slots. And I'll grab suit and run out. Go. Wife, move. Chuck stuff in there. All right, wife, come with me. Okay, boom. Tim, come with me. Timothy. Timothy. Oh God. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. No! <gasps> just made it in, like, just. That is so stressful, jeez. Okay. So we got some food, some water, all the family members, a hatchet, I think a game as well. I don't know. Okay, so we got a fair bit of soup, water, first aid kit, radio, boy scout. Alright, I think we're pretty good actually. All made it to the show just a second for the last. That was a close one. As long as we're together, we remembered hurting canned soup is healthy for you. We remember bringing those supplies down to the shelter, but we're not complaining. Can't remember bringing. 
Probably should have stopped it better anyway. Our sh shelves are full of cans. We eat from cans. We sleep in them. Plenty of water. We don't have time to worry about that. Okay. So soup. Everything goes fine. So that's good. Is that a knock at our door? There's nothing new. I hear a knock at our door. It looks like there is rally going to the wasteland it might be unsafe unless you don't mind getting sick. Yes. No no, there's always a surprise piece, but it means yes. Open the door. So we need to use a hatchet and just go Please tell me no one's dead. Doris is sick. Maybe the hatchet was a bit risky, it seemed it gave us an awful sickness. That cough strain was crazy. Everyone has to drink sometime clean Mary Jane. Okay. So everyone needs water. Who should go outside? I'm going to say Mary Jane because she's already... Uh, not Mary Jane, the wife because she's already sick. So even if she gets more sick, it should be okay. Plus then no one else can get infected, hopefully. Oh, cool. It like, tells you. Okay. There's nothing new. Nothing new. Doris is on her way to surface. There's nothing new. I wish you could leave sitting down here is driving us crazy. See what I mean? No one's getting sick now because Doris isn't in the room making people sick. So hopefully everyone's okay. Hopefully it's time to leave will come soon. It's always better that things are calm. Nothing new. Nothing new. And nothing new. So we don't have to worry about feeding them. It's difficult to keep our spirits in the situation. The hot thing will mess will be over soon. Like I said, they should be all okay for the moment in time. If you need to shave, use the axe. So thirsty, Tim. So everyone's just thirsty. Which is what we have, like the least amount. And good news, everyone. The government just announced we'll be dropping cratefuls within supplies in the area. Fine, there are useful things. Should we head out and grab the crates? Grabbing some protection gear might be. Well, I don't have any protection gear, but one of you should go out and get it. It's too dangerous to go out there without any protection, so we decided to say no. The static is so relaxing. Can, okay, so Mary Jane needs food. Diet could use a little food. Okay, so Mary Jane needs food, that's okay. My oh dear, we just remembered we plan on taking trip south in two months. If it's still there, we are going, right? Pretty sure they don't bomb warm places. Well, if that's the case, then I'm all good. The wife hasn't come back. We can make it work even in Toronto. Question is, how do we find a boat to get there? We heard that the best way to get to, I heard that's the best way to get to Europe. It's always better than things are calm. Luckily, nothing new to Mary Jane. Okay, so everyone's hungry. It's difficult to keep track of time down here, but at least we remembered it's Timmy's birthday today. He's growing so fast. We should get something where everyone, where everyone wants for his, which birthday is this again. So let's do Boy Scout, because we are not wasting a first aid book. I mean, a first aid thing. Doris is back! We don't know if Tim is ever going to be a scout after the apocalypse. The scout handbook's handy. Um, did you bring water back? You brought soup. And water, thank you. Jane's getting something to drink for Mary Jane sounds like a right idea. To me, he doesn't need much. Okay, so everyone needs water and uh water and food. And I'm gonna leave you for one more day. Ted is happy, cool. Start prepping for tomorrow. Something's missing, let's see. Fan, um Ch change the my pipe. Or Doris hasn't spoken for a while, let's see, and it's really strange. Talking to her would be a good idea. We'll talk to her then. Why was that a question mark of a thing to do? Talking to Doris helped resolve some of her issues and doubts. She feels bad now. There's nothing new. Doris hasn't eaten for a while despite Doris doing a little too many. He's very brave. Let me give you some more soup. You can go on an expedition. Because you seem fine. I really want to... Hungry, sick, and tired. Okay. I'm going to give you that and that. 
How about she's an Nevada? We've been proposing for a while. Because I'm thinking if she gets f some first aid, she might feel a bit better overall. Yeah, that's what I thought. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Drink. Taurus is not in for a while. There has to be some water left. Taurus should get it. Okay, everyone have water. Everyone have some food. Yeah. We know really about what's going on. Let's go ahead and find out. Use that radio. Do not break it. I'm begging you. Awesome. We are able to get a weak signal to tap into the government emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news. The fallout outside has mostly gone. Should be much safer to travel now. Mary Jane's feeling safe. Why wouldn't you? No good news. If there's anything reported about Doris is... Well, there's... It's already written. Everything's didn't put up. It's a colony of them growing. One of the walls... We changed our loyalty. All about mushrooms. Should we eat them? No, don't eat mushrooms on the walls. That sounds bad. Toxins, bad. Evil. No. Drugs, no. <laughs> just no. We may be hungry, but there's just something that would ever need fungus on the walls. Major is worried at least. Um, Doris is fine well as much as anyone could be in this tiny shelter. The longer we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we have to leave eventually. It'd be good to hear straight to safety. So we use the military radio. Well, radio to listen to the military is better wording. And you just look tired in there. Is that now? Hey, water. Tell us if you turn. We're happy to find fire station is semi-operated. Even after the apocalypse, it's not really shocking. Firefighters are the greatest heroes, right? After marines and ice cream men. Although none of their faces look familiar, we're sure they're the real deal. They had uniforms, helmets, and everything. They even customized their headwear by drawing a lot of. Okay, near the garage we found a few firefighters shooting off some giants. Yeah, we got some water. Awesome. We got a lock now. And we got some gas, yeah, like um, poison. Everyone's drink something. Some water. Water. Okay, so everyone has some water and you have some soup. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon, but after the atomic jump. Bomb drop. Yeah, here we are. We're, we're clearly here. A phone ringing outside. It must be a public phone on the other side should we go answer you should go answer because you're tired so if you die eh. we answer the phone we could clearly hear a gas relief from the cooler they introduced himself as a survivor from a nearby town of hill valley we had started exchanging information when the call was cut short something must have gone wrong on their side we hope they get back to us tell us safe return from your voyage Mary Jane isn't worried, nothing new, everything's good. Tame looks sweet, if she doesn't eat, he might. Okay. You just need to keep eating. Um, St. Doris out as a death sentence. Let's prep. We stumble on the remains of a bandit shan- Bandit shady town. Um, licking its- uh, We found a cat licking its paws, surrounded by blood and dismay leads. As we made our way back to the shelter, the cat followed. We now hear paws and sh should we let it? Let's let the cat inside. It would boost some morale in this place. Meow. Hi, kitty. Make us all happy, please. Um, life. So everyone is good except for you, who's just a little hungry. So I'm going to send Tim out. Bye, Tim. Yeah, everyone looks a okay, so that's a positive. Um, so water, water, and water is what everybody needs. So, you know, we barely, we can barely breathe in this damp shelter. For the last couple of hours, the situation has gotten noticeably worse. There might be something wrong with the ventilation system. Maybe it's stuck. If that's right, cause we need to look into it right away. Then use a flashlight. Why would you use a book? Yeah, it's all though. The obvious thing is to do when an event is blocked is to check what's blocked in it. However, when you shine your flashlight on a hive of mutant insects, things usually go from bad to worse. The angry hive have gone, but the insects did some biting before they fled. Ted is hungry and hurt, hurt and hungry. Hungry, hungry, hungry. We can't really help you. I'm sorry, my dude. Doris comes back from the exhibition the other day. She had a tiny scratch on her leg. It didn't seem to do at the time, but right now it's a terrible sight. Do you think I might lose a leg with a mining means compared to what happened next? Mm. Bye bye leg. 
Why is the axe bright? If there's one thing we would never consider, it would be cutting off a part of Doris with an axe. Not only would she object to this, she would probably take mat the matter and the axe into her own hands. It was our best interest to avoid a situation. We did use the heated axe blade to clean her wound, and the infection seemed to be fading away. The operation wasn't pretty, though, and we damaged her axe. Okay. So you just damaged it. Oh dear, we just remembered we planned to train. Oh, we read to that. So, we need kind of a lot of things, realistically. We just need to get out of here. Our reclassification is probably something we've been to discuss after we get out. Drink. Um, Ted needs water to survive. So let's do water for everyone. While trying to pet the little devil, we found a piece of paper on its collar with the address screw on it. Could it previous owners still be around where it's sick? Chances are slim, but maybe we should pay them a visit, or at least whatever's left of them. You know what? Yes. There might be some rations there, or food or water, or something we can use. I'm not really sure. I don't see a change other than the cat's gone. We grabbed our fluffy, new fluffy fern for a little stroll through the wasteland, only to immediately run to a couple of gentlemen dressed in trench coats, drawers, and shades. We gritted their teeth at the side of the cat and said they'd been looking for it. Apparently, it belongs to the Dear old Nan, who loves it dearly. Before we could utter a word, they took Shravik, thanked us, and left. The cat didn't seem to mind, so maybe it was for the best. Okay. So they went back home, at least. So that's positive. There's so many things you can do in the tiny bunker. So we thought, hey, why not play some games? You know. They're, they're not just for kids, you know. Wow, my English. And the sun hasn't returned for a bit. They played to the dirt. When it turned out, we only kept asking questions. Our most common was, are we going to eat anything besides tomato soup? We decided that's enough for games. Um, you're suffering. We didn't have any of those things. The traveler came and asked if we wanted to trade, but we have nothing that he wants. Hey, team, you're back. And so was the cat. Salesman was very friendly, but he didn't have anything that was interesting to us. First prize, we found Shalik back in our shelter this morning. We're not exactly sure why or how it came back. We, we were so afraid of Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. Some additions would help a great deal, but we didn't get any from this expedition. Okay, so everyone needs that. You need that. Oh, who else was hungry? Timmy said needs food today or never. Uh, Timmy. Tim, Tim, Tim. Doris is in pretty good shape. Cool. So we'll send out the daughter. Because she's the only one that hasn't really gone out to the wasteland yet. And she's like, oh my god, I've seen some things. And you really haven't. Mary Jane died. I'm going to tea. Not complaining, at least not very much. You can go outside. Bye, daughter. Um, let's see. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she's okay. Hungry, hungry. I'm gonna go one more round without eating. A loud crash and a surprise shriek and a bit of debris falling from my ceiling. Should I, um, new toy, a bit of... Here's a wire that is ripped out from the wall. Who knows what the cable's for, but our lights are still on, so... It can't be that important, right? Should we take a while away from a fluffy brain and investigate it? Yes. Unless you die. Grab the cable to the rusty old truck packed in our neighborhood driveway. Upon opening the doors, we were confronted two men wearing huge headphones who looked extremely surprised to see us. They wire taped our shelter where we were asleep and they said they were listening to everything they said. We gave them hell march back to our bunker. Um, something to eat. Okay. Everyone can eat and drink, except you can't eat. The agent was spraying us and out the door to explain themselves. Hear them out. I'm interested to see what they will say if we're not all dead. Well, we're not all dead. That's a positive. They briefly wear some sort of ID card in front of us and told us they were on top of seeking government mission. Um, but why are they on the cat? It's suspicious. Whatever, they showed it was a cat. And y'all are all hungry again. So you're not eating. 
you want cake, but the cake's a lie. You know why? Because the cake's always a lie. Who's dead? Oh, you're sick. Ted's been infected. And you can eat. We're running low on all supplies. I'm um, ready to discover a small suitcase on our doorstep. We are definitely looking inside. Because we might have some stuff in it that we need. Hey, our daughter is back. Um, it was a gift, was booby trap, there was nothing inside but some junk, as soon as we opened the suitcase, it exploded. Not for education, of course, I want to spread. We got one can of soup, that's good. And two bottles of water, and bag, awesome. Really tired, water. Whereas, why does everyone need, oh, everyone's injured, great, whatever well, can have. Everyone can have that. So if our loved ones seem to be able to survive, they claim to have met us, um, who should go? I think Dora should go? Oh, I should have sent that freaking sick McGee over there. They met, it was organized by twin siblings, a brother and sister, who took it to themselves to scout the remaining scene, looking for trustworthy and decent people. Seem honest with their intentions, and were more than happy to meet them again. They said they know where to find us, and they're going to contact us if we need help. Mary Jane, diet, Doris is all fine and well. Oh, don't really care. Um, we're a regular family, so the occasional argument too, but it was never as intense as the fights we just got into. No one wants to speak to each other, let's just hope this won't last long because we're stuck in a tiny, tiny metal box. And there's knocking at the door. Um, using high tech serve involving paper cups and yard string, the agent rang in with our next mission. Top, surely that was Lance and VIP bunker very soon. They want us to go to successful expedition and write down what they saw in the journal. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Lemon squeezy, right? Yeah, I'm gonna send you out because you're sick. Go away. Alright. Okay, some water, water. Wait, what did you say? Sorry, I read that. Um, water. Water and Mary Jane can have some soup. Enough of this little thing in life is important, so when Mary Jane found some seeds in the shelter, she got really excited. A little like, yes, let's just grow them. What are the chances are that these seeds are going to kill us? Yay! That's Morse code. Oh, but it took some water. Yeah, yeah. But no, that was Morse code. Oh, you're looking real bad there. Um, we were sure we could find the location on our map. We went wrong. Hopefully, we'll get lucky next time. That record mission was busy. Is this neighborhood that number up? Bucket is due for an upgrade and we're expecting the government shelter to have an excellent bathroom even a hot tub. The injured Mary Jane may take a while to leave, it's gonna take a while for Timmy's wound. Isn't there anything we can get about Doris's illness? Is there anything that can be done to ten injuries? No. I think no, I think we need to just stay in all inside. Because we're going on too many expeditions, everyone's just getting sick and sick and sick. And looking real bad. Silver, save, um, drink. I'm gonna go one more day and then give everyone some water. Hopefully no one dies. Cool, no one's dead. Um, everyone needs water. Timmy's in terrible shape when you give him water. Um, uh, was fainting, we need to find something to drink. Doris making for a while. Which I don't really think he won't last until he's getting worse with something about his wounds or he's done for. Everyone gets water. Okay. We're out of songs. Use, just use the radio. I'm sorry, Ted, but you're gonna die. Like, I can't do anything. These post war songs are good. Everyone can eat. No, everyone really can't eat. Bye. 
I really hope we get found really soon. Oh, food, maybe. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Doris is on the okay. Taylor's been worse. Either we do something for his wounds or he's done for. So we don't worry. So we give you and you food. While the plant Mary Jane's been turning, it's growing like crazy. It's also glowing in the dark. We've never grown carrots or anything, but we're not sure if this is normal. Maybe it's good times that whatever the fruit is produced. Glowing in the dark sounds weird, so it's probably toxic. But I mean, hey, it'd be fun. We got four more food. Good, cool with the plant. We were able to reduce cans worth of. Holy, Mary Jane's very thirsty. Okay, we really can't have water. Clearly, we trust where our last successful and angels came back for another quest. We just enough to provide a couple of soon. Some water bones, angels feel the day, take care of his leave room, return with given. I already pat on the back and they promise to be a future. I don't have a choice, I have to give him soup. Then it'll be all four of my cans, we're screwed. Yep. We have no water, guys. We have zero water and no food. They can survive two days without water, and that's it. So I'm on a weird signal. Um, I don't care. We need to listen. Lit the father is dead on the floor. Okay, I don't. I can't. It's calling a little is it worse? There's fires and not okay, we gotta do something about this. Spray everything. We're all gonna die in here. Go to team it will Whether it was us or them three uh, so we knew We don't think Doris is coming back from the surface, it's been too long. We didn't make it. These are our final words of advice to anyone who's reading this. We held out for 44 days. Perished. I perished. And that is the end of this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Tell me if I should do another one. If not, then that will be the end of 60 seconds. Anyway, dry out says in the next video. Sarcasm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. See ya. Also, why is your base or like basement or apocalypse shelter area not have food and water in there? Yes.